Reitwein, close to Germany's border with Poland. Military manoeuvres here badly damaged groins in the River Oda. Repairing the groins had to take account of the needs of shipping and of flood and nature protection. A range of variants were tried out in an aerodynamic model in the Federal Waterways Engineering and Research Institute in Karlsruhe. Instead of water currents, aerodynamic models work with air currents. The model is based on a detailed digital model of the terrain. The scale of length is 1 to 350. Three kilometers in reality are represented by 8.5 meters in the model. The terrain data are gathered by means of laser scan flights and riverbed data by underwater soundings. Unsuitable solutions can already be ruled out with the erosion method by making the current close to the bottom visible. For this, a mixture of petroleum and talcum powder is sprayed on the surface. The model is then covered with a glass plate. The measuring gantry spans the model at about chest height. A sliding cradle unit on the aluminium frame carries the measuring instruments. The system permits very precise triaxial measurement. The underside of the glass approximates to the water surface. Where the air current is strong, the talcum particles collect along the line of flow, resulting in bottom streamlines. Bottom streamlines near a longitudinal dam intended to replace the damaged groins. White areas show that the current is weak, for instance in the groin fields. The gasket is removed from a hole drilled in the glass cover so that a measuring probe can be inserted in the current. It measures the flow velocity using hot wire velocimetry. The probes are inserted at intervals of 3 centimetres, corresponding to every 10.5 metres in reality. Measurements are taken from the riverbed to the surface. Flow direction and velocity, measured in several cross sections, result in three-dimensional images. This cross-section of the odour shows faster velocities in yellow and green and slower currents in pale and dark blue. To the left behind the training wall and on the right in the groin field, the velocity is much slower than in the main current. For this measurement, static pressure probes with pressure transducers are inserted into the model. Pressure measurements reveal the pressure drop in the model. This serves as an indicator of the water level gradient. A mist made up of water and alcohol is drawn into the model. The mist is used to make the flow visible and to measure the flow direction and velocity. Slowed down 20 times, the film reveals eddies in the area of the damaged groins, which peel away from the river bank and the remains of the groins. They couldn't be seen with the naked eye because it takes only a quarter of a second for the air to flow through the 8.5 metre length of the model. Eddies in a groin field detaching from the flow over and around the groin. A laser device is used to measure the velocity. The light is split into two beams, which are then focused by a lens. The intercept point of the two beams is the measuring point. The measured velocities enable a colour-coded animated chart to be produced, showing the airflow velocities at water level. Numerical particles are added for a computer analysis of the flow. These two pipes draw the mist through the model at speeds of up to 30 meters a second. The flow rate is recorded by a standard volume flow meter. It can be varied via the suction fan controls. The tests reveal that navigation conditions will best be improved by reconstructing the groins.
with due consideration for ecological aspects, a segmented longitudinal dam with protruding groins could also be recommended.